The mysterious case involving the five individuals, which included a billionaire aboard Ocean Gate submersible who went missing in close proximity to the Titanic wreckage, has caused mainstream speculation around the world. So let's explore how this may have played out. First, it's important to note that a submersible has two key depths to take into account. The operational depth, dictated by engineering constraints, and the crush depth, where the hull's structural integrity fails under pressure. The Ocean Gate Titan, for instance, has an operational depth of approximately 4,000 meters. However, evidence suggests that the actual implosion may have actually occurred slightly above this depth, near 3,800 meters. Multiple theories attempt to explain this unexpected structural failure, despite the submersible's previous successful voyages to the Titanic wreckage. A possible explanation, supported by James Cameron, a Canadian filmmaker who is considered one of the most innovative marine enthusiasts, highlights the material limitations of the Titan's hull. Constructed primarily from carbon fiber composites, the hull lacked the resilience required to endure the extreme hydrostatic pressure exerted by the surrounding water at deep sea depths. Although carbon fiber composites possess commendable tensile strength, they exhibit a shorter fatigue life compared to materials such as titanium or tempered steel. This ultimately means that the structural integrity diminishes with each dive. The implosion phenomenon itself is tremendously violent and occurs within milliseconds. The pressure at extreme depths can exceed several thousand pounds per square inch. When the hull fails, the colossal external pressure causes the submersible to collapse inward almost instantaneously. As the hull fragments, the rapid compression of the internal atmosphere leads to an immediate temperature spike, which can approximate 5,000 degrees Celsius, similar to the surface of the sun, due to adiabatic compression. On a human physiological level, the effects are similarly devastating. The rapidity of the implosion means that the human nervous system doesn't have the time to transmit the sensations of pain or distress to the brain. For instance, pain signals typically take about 100 milliseconds to be processed by the brain, which is significantly longer than the duration of the implosion. The visual processing, which takes around 13 milliseconds, would still not be able to keep pace with the implosion. In an event as catastrophic as an implosion, the occupants within the submersible essentially become part of a high energy, high temperature mix of fluids and debris. Their biological remains are almost instantly rendered unidentifiable and are likely to be dispersed into the surrounding ocean. Adding an analytical aspect, assuming five individuals on board, each weighing around 80 kilograms, we have approximately 400 kilograms of biomass that undergoes rapid compression and heating. In the deep ocean, this expelled material contributes to what's known as marine snow, which serves as sustenance for deep sea organisms. The implosion of a submersible when subjected to the extraordinary pressures found at abyssal depths serves as a reminder to the formidable forces at play in the deep ocean. It accentuates the criticality of state-of-the-art engineering, materials science, and design principles that focus on structural integrity to counteract these immense hydrostatic pressures. The deep sea environment is an unforgiving realm where the weight of the water column increases with depth, leading to pressures that can exceed 16,000 pounds per square inch at the depths of the Mariana Trench. Under such conditions, ensuring the structural integrity of submersibles requires the incorporation of materials like titanium alloys, specialized composites, and design strategies such as spherical hull shapes that evenly distribute pressure. For the occupants inside a submersible, the physiological consequences of an implosion are both immediate and severe. The compression event happens in a time scale that is exceedingly brief, resulting in an instantaneous change from a normal pressure environment to one of extreme compression and heating. As a result of the swiftness of this occurrence, the nervous system does not have sufficient time to process or relay sensory information to the brain. This means that, despite the catastrophic nature of the implosion, the individuals involved do not experience pain or distress due to the events rapidly surpassing the neural transmission times. Moreover, the implosion also causes a sudden increase in temperature due to the adiabatic which, for context, refers to a process in which no heat is exchanged with the surroundings. This, combined with the force of the implosion, reduces the biological matter to a state where it becomes integrated with the fluids and debris and is subsequently dispersed into the deep sea environment. The implosion of a submersible is a stark reminder of both the engineering challenges and the human risks associated with deep sea exploration. It underscores the necessity for continual advancements in technology and materials to safely explore one of the Earth's most extreme and least understood environments.